whole Belgium is like a cathedral, but the architect was the Gaudi, was God. God built that mountain, and uh, Gaudi, he was inspired in the mountain when he built the Sacrada Familia. Do you see what's right ahead of us? Combination of fire, rocks, <coughs> chimneys, monsters, witches, dragons, saints. Very mysterious mountain with its unique climate, the microclimate. It's a unique place in the world. Very mysterious, very mystical. Well, already in the 11th century, we have five monasteries. And then they decided to build another one. And the monk, the abbot, came from Ripoll, another town, and built the present monastery, monastery of uh, Our Lady of Monterrey. Well, when, you, when they built, monastery there's many stories about it one they say that they went to the cave um, where they knew there was a statue that statue was found by some shepherds and according to the tradition it was left there by Saint Peter well they decided to bring the statue into the new monastery, but they say that they could take the statue because the statue was too heavy. For that reason, they decided to build the church, the present church, around the place where was the statue. In the year 1205, there there is already a document that tells us about the Escolania. Escolania is the school, the boys that sing the Viroli. The Viroli is the hymn, the song of Our Lady of Montserrat. So in 1205, <coughs> there's already documents telling us about this song, the Viroli, that the boys, this choir, singing the Viroli to Our Lady of Montserrat. So over here they have the oldest boys choir in the world. Then we walk, slowly, we walk to the church. <coughs> we will take the side of the church where at the entrance you will see the swords of St. Ignatius of Iola. It was here. This real conversion, in a way, happened here. It was here that he decided to advocate to follow the life of Jesus not the life of the military man, so he gave his swords to our lady. The sword is there, I'm going to show it to you. Then we'll continue, we'll go up some steps, and we go to the cabaret where we will embrace the lady. Then we exit behind the church, in the Alleluia Way. The Alleluia Way is a place where pilgrims place the candle. we will have our mass. Mass will be at the crypt. It's a small place, the crypt. Once mass is ended, you will have again a little bit of free time, okay? And then at 6.45, you shall be back inside the church for the vespers. When they get the vespers, we will walk to the hotel, which is now going to show you is right next to the church and uh, at 7.30 at 7 we are going to have our dinner 7 30. 